The Adenol Racing 40 is doing its job in the RTR 164V for the past couple of months and I did share my initial impressions video where I was impressed with the Racing 40's performance in the RTR. So this time we will be discussing the lap test results of the Adenol Racing 40 10W30 after doing 2500 plus kilometers of heavy use, most of which was done in heavy city bumper to bumper crawling traffic. At the time of making this video and while I was analyzing the used oil results, due to some technical issues, the lab didn't update me with the viscosity values. So if there is any update, you will get it on screen or in the description. Moving ahead, we have TBN, which happens to be a critical property for an engine oil. Total base number indicates the presence of base that neutralizes the acidic environment inside the engine. The Racing 40 10W30 gets one of the highest TBN of 10.5 that I have seen in a motorcycle engine oil. So after 2500 plus kilometers of running, it sits at 8.5, which is excellent and is probably more than what many fresh engine oils offer. Now it's time to discuss the elemental analysis results which will reveal a lot about this engine oil and its performance. Let's begin this with the wear and tear elements where iron came out at 37.5 parts per million which is way under the limit and the value represents low wear and tear. Aluminium came out at 9.9 .9 parts per million which again indicates low wear and tear. Chromium which is found in bearings and other essential engine parts showed negligible presence which is a good thing. Copper also showed its presence under the limit of 29.3 parts per million while lead was almost absent here which shows the excellent protection offered by the Racing 40. Next we will discuss the presence of contaminants in the used oil where both silicon and sodium showed similar presence at 4.3 parts per million. Coming to the last and the best part where we will discuss the additive elements. Detergents and dispersants take the responsibility of keeping the engine clean which is revealed by the presence of calcium and magnesium. While magnesium sits at 14.4 parts per million, calcium breaks all our past lab test records with 3165.2 parts per million which is one of the highest presence of calcium that I have seen in a motorcycle engine oil. Which should assure the cleanliness and heat resistance offered by the Racing 40. In anti-wear and anti-corrosion department, we have got boron and zinc, where boron is at 21.6 parts per million, while we can see adenol has been generous with zinc at 1118.4 parts per million, which is good for all the protection it provides to the engine parts. Phosphorus plays an important part, especially for a motorcycle engine oil that also takes responsibility of the gearbox lubrication, where phosphorus forms the part of EP additive that performs in extreme pressure situations. With 920.7 parts per million, the Racing 40 gets an abundant dose of phosphorus which should keep your engine happy. Apart from all this, molybdenum is also a part of Racing 40's formulation at 38.8 parts per million which should help in reducing friction and its associated side effects. All in all, if we analyze the Racing 40, then it comes with a very well balanced package where the focus seems to be on engine cleanliness and protection. This brings me to the conclusion where I hope you guys will keep showing interest in this kind of lab test videos so that I can continue with them. So that's it for this video and I hope you guys have liked it.